Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Foundation Revision video. There's 70 days to go and we're going to focus today on the topic of coordinates. So we're going to focus on how to plot coordinates, how to write down what the coordinates of plotted points are, and then also how to answer questions that involve coordinates. Perhaps, for instance, there might be ships on grids and you might need to write down the coordinates of where the other points will be. So I really hope you find this video useful. I'm going to go through some questions and then there'll be some for you to try yourself. And also I'll talk about where the practice questions are at the end of the video. So let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at coordinates. We're going to look at how to read coordinates, how to plot coordinates, how to answer some coordinate questions that involve ships, and also how to find the midpoint of a line. So here we've got some coordinates, A, B, C, and D. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to pause the video and to write down the coordinates of the point A, point B, point C, and point D. Okay, so in terms of point A, point A would be, well, if we have a look at A, it's two along the corridor, four up the stairs, so it's two along, four up, so it'd be the coordinate two, four. So it's two along, and then four up. B, well, let's have a look at B. We would go two along and then two down. So it'd be two, negative two. So it's two minus two. So in terms of the coordinates of the point C, well, we're going to go to negative five and then up one. So it's going to be negative five, one. Okay, and then finally, in terms of point D, well, we're not going along the corridor. We're not going left or right here. We're just going straight down four. So it's going to be zero and then negative four. And those are answers. So the coordinates of point A would be two, four. The coordinates of point B would be two, negative two. The coordinates of point C would be negative five, one. And the coordinates of point D would be zero, negative four. And that's it. And if you got those, well done. Okay, now let's have a look at plotting some. So we've got the points A, B, C, D, E, and F. So pause the video now and plot these points. Okay, so in terms of point A, it's 1, 3, so that means 1 along the corridor, 3 up, so it would be there. So that's the point A. Point B is 5, 2, so that's 5 along the corridor, and then 2 up, so that's the point B there, 5, 2 there, B. The coordinates of point C are negative 3, 4, so negative 3, and then up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 to there, so that's the point C. 2, negative 1, so 2 along, 1 down, so that's the point D there, so that's D. E, negative one, zero, so that's just gonna be negative one, and then because it's zero, we're not going up or down, so there, that's gonna be there, so it's the point E, negative one, zero, and finally F, negative three, negative two would be there, so that's the point F, and if you got those, well done. Okay, so let's have a look at a question now involving shapes on a grid. So here we've got a grid, and we've got the points A, B, and C, and we're told that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, and we're asked to plot D on the grid. So we've got to plot the point D on this grid. So if you want to have a go at this now, feel free to pause the video and think where point D will to go on this grid. Okay, so in terms of parallelogram, so a parallelogram is a quadrilateral, and I like to think of it in terms of a push to a rectangle, and it would look something like that. So if we've got A and B here, to get from A to B, we go one across and two up. So that means to get from D to C, we'd have to be here, and it'd be one across and two up. So that means that the point D would be here, and that would give us our parallelogram, our push to a rectangle. And let's actually just complete this shape, even though we're just asked to plot the point D, which is the point two, one, let's complete the parallelogram. And that's it, so we've plotted the point D on the grid, and we've completed the parallelogram, even though it didn't ask us to, we've just drawn it anyway. Okay, so that was our question with a shape on a grid. So sometimes you just got to think what the shape looks like and then figure out where the coordinates of that uh, point would be. Okay, let's have a look at a question now for you to try. So we're told that A, B, C, D is a kite. So A, B, C, D is a kite. We've got the points A, B, and C, and you've been asked to plot D on the grid. So have a think of where that point D would go. Okay, so in terms of our kite, remember kite's got one line of symmetry, and if we have a look here, we've got A, C, so that means that here, if we have a look at B, it's one, two, three to the line of symmetry, so if we go one, two, three, that would then be the point D over here somewhere, so that would be the point D, five, one, and if you got that, well done, and let's complete our kite just to see what it looks like, and that's it, as you can see, there's the point D, which is the point five, one, and it's a kite, and it's got that one line of symmetry down the middle, and that's it. Okay, so we've had a look at reading coordinates, we've had a look at plotting coordinates, we've had a look at doing questions involving shapes on grids. Now let's have a look at midpoints. So finding the midpoint of a line. Now sometimes whenever we're given a midpoint of a line question, it can be quite nice because you can just see the answer straight away. So the question says find the midpoint of the line A, B. So if we have a look here at A and B, you can just see in the midpoint of it, the middle of it would be this point here, the point one, negative two, one, negative two. That's the midpoint of that line. I'm just going to put an M there for midpoint. And I think I can just see that's in the middle because to get from A to M, you go two across and two up. And to get from M to B, you go two across and two up. So that would be the middle of the line. Now there is another way to do it, and that would be to add the two coordinates and half them. So what I mean by that is let's write down the coordinates of the point B. So the coordinates of the point B would be three along and zero up. So that's the point B, three, zero. The point A here would be negative one, negative four. As you can see here, negative one, negative four. So if I want to find the coordinates of the midpoint, what I could do is I could add these two coordinates together, the coordinates of A and B together, and then half it, and that would tell me the midpoint of those coordinates. So if I had a negative one plus 
plus 3, that's equal to 2. And if we half it, we get 1. Fantastic. And if I do negative 4 plus 0, that's negative 4. And half it is negative 2. And that's given us the coordinates of the midpoint really quickly and easily. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So we've got the points A and B. And we've been asked to find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line AB. So pause the video now and find the midpoint of the line AB. Okay, so again, with a question like this, I can actually just see the midpoint. I can actually just see, well, the midpoint's going to be here. It's in the middle of A and B. It's two across and three up, and then two across and three up. So this is the midpoint. So with this question, I could just see it. So the coordinates of the midpoint would be three, three, and that's it. Now, the other way to do it would be to write down the coordinates of B, which are 5, 6, to write down the coordinates of the point A, which are 1, 0. We could add these together, so 1 plus 5 is equal to 6, and then half it, which would be equal to 3, and 0 plus 6 is 6, and half that is 3. So to find the coordinates of the midpoint, you could just add the two coordinates together and half it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this time we've got two points, A and B. So the coordinates of point A are 2, 11, and the coordinates of point B are 8, 3. And I would like you to find the midpoint of the line AB. So pause the video now and find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line AB. Okay, so it would be here somewhere. Now, that's not going to help us because we've got no scale here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the coordinates together and half them. So 2 plus 8 is equal to 10, and half that is 5. And 11 plus 3 is equal to 14, and half that would be 7. So it means the coordinates of the point M would be 5, 7. Okay, let's have a look at one last question. And so here we've got a grid, and we've got the points P, M, and Q. And M is the midpoint of PQ. And I would like you to find the coordinates of the point Q. So this is the midpoint of PQ. What's the coordinates of point Q? So feel free to pause the video now and find the coordinates of this point. Okay, so there's a couple of ways we could approach this. One approach would be, well, considering that we add the two coordinates together and half of them gives us the coordinates of the midpoint, if we get the coordinates of the midpoint and double it, so we double this, that would be 10, 12. And that means that this coordinate plus this coordinate would be 10, 12. So that means so if this is 1, we'd have to add 9. And then if this is 1, then we want to get to 12, we'd have to add 11. So that means the coordinates of the point Q would be 9, 11. And let's just check that. 1 plus 9 is equal to 10, and half it is 5. Fantastic. And 1 plus 11 is 12, and half that is 6. Fantastic. So what we done was we just knew to get the midpoint, we added them together and halved it. So if we worked backwards, we could double it and then figure out what we would have needed to add to get the, the 10, 12. And that would be the coordinates 9. 11 and that's it or another way to do this question is to get from p to m we would have to go across four and up five that gets us if we go across four so that's one along the corridor five along the corridor so we've got another four along the corridor and this is got a height of one and we're going up to six so we're going up five and then if we go across another four and up another five where would we get well if we were at five we go another four along the corridor we would get to nine and then if we're five up the stairs if we go up another five we get to 11 so the coordinates would be nine eleven so that's another way to do it and that's it and that's it so in this video, we've gone through coordinates, so that along the corridor and up the stairs. We've looked at how to plot the coordinates in all four quadrants and the importance of making sure that you include your brackets whenever you're writing down the coordinates of points. And we've also talked about how to answer some questions involving shapes. So I really hope you found this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Remember, obviously, tomorrow's going to be 69 days to go into your GCSE maths exam. So that'll be your next topic. And obviously, that'll come out at 3 o'clock on YouTube. So I'll see you then. Cheers.